projects on Project 13 in the IUV exchange. Uh, with Project 13, it's just it's Caleb still powering along in the background there, getting it ready to launch this month. As he said last week, that if he doesn't get it done, he's putting the gun to his head. So we are, we're leaving him alone to to just get the work done because we don't want to see that happen. Um, the IUV exchange, we don't actually have an update on that because the first thing that'll come out is Project 13. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything else will be built, I guess, on top of that. But what we do have is something that Brian's put up on his blog. And I'm just trying to find a link for it. Updated understanding. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I just put it in the chat. Okay. Updated understanding of the IUV exchange system Project 13 and clearing some disinfo. Now, it's a combination, what this post is, is a combination of a synopsis or an understanding that a gentleman wrote whose name is, Brian, can you remember? Uh, his name's Simon Parker. Simon Parker wrote, right. And then that conversation, his synopsis was shared with Heather, so she went through and clarified some, some aspects of it. So what I suggest you do is go and read the, the entire post. Um, his summation is, is pretty accurate. What he said was, ever since money came into existence, it has been used as a tool to represent the true value of the hum human being, which we touched on earlier. The true value, the intrinsic value of human beings can't be equated to a number or to any amount of cash. Money has been inserted between the creator and the created and has been used to manufacture a system whereby human beings have become slaves to money and the money masters. What the OPPT filings back in 2012 achieved was to expose the slavery system and to effectively neutralise it. Now, later on in this month of May 2013, the so-called IUV exchange will be launched under the title of Project 13. That's one of the things that needed to be clarified. Details of the content and the way the system will work have yet to be released. Suffice it to say, however, that this system is the game changer. So what I am suggesting below is nothing more than a best guess. Each person on the planet will now have the opportunity to connect with an online system that offers them the following. One, a personal value resource worth 10 billion of any existing currency they choose to use. Two, a personal iPage that consists of an alternative to Facebook, but without any monitoring or data harvesting. A facility to create your own web page, I think. An equivalent to eBay or any other similar trading platform. An equivalent to Amazon or any other similar market stall an equivalent to Skype, an online banking facility which contains the 10 billion. This iPage will replace all the existing online mechanisms for communications, interactions and for purchasing. Moreover, the iPage will be an unhackable, will be unhackable. It will be entirely free of any government or alphabet agency oversight. It will have an ability to be entirely personalized to your own specifications. It will contain individual access codes that are uniquely yours so that nobody else can use your page, not even the, the software writers. I know this sounds too good to be true, more like something out of a feel-good science fiction movie, but this is what I have gleaned from listening to recent blog shows and from reading associated literature. In addition to, and in parallel with this release, several other major events will be happening. Disclosure of ET, already going on with the Citizens Disclosure Hearings in DC. Release of erstwhile suppressed technology, such as replicators and zero-point energy devices. Three, the introduction of anti-gravity car transportation, followed closely by the implementation of stargates for local and long-distance long instantaneous travel. Needless to say, the existing banking system, along with all associated structures and mechanisms, will collapse as soon as this page is released. Governments will become irrelevant. The politicians will disappear back into their holes. Additionally, chaos will inevitably ensue for a short period once people have access to these unfathomable amounts of money as nobody will bother turning up for work or for anything for that matter. This is why it's important that all suppressed technology is released in tandem with the iPage. Um, and it goes on, but in, included in this post is clarifications from Heather, uh, some comments from both Brian and American Kabuki. Um, so... I strongly recommend reading it. Lisa, we should probably just for context and, and contrast read the quote that I added from American Kabuki after I posted it because it's extremely relative and, and um, it's a message I think if you're going to read everything you just did, we should probably share that too. Let me read that real quick. Sure. Um, 
American Kabuki Row, I would caution people to wait until the UVI exchange is released until making grand proclamations as to how it all works, considering this was obviously um, not from Heather. It was, it was from someone else, from this guy, Simon Parker. There is, there, there is much to be done, many unknown obstacles yet to deal with, and things to do just yet. I would think of May as the kickoff point. But how rapidly expands, I would not speculate at this point. It's a big undertaking. Kayla's Project 13 is separate from the iExchange but uses it. One is a framework of transactions. The other is a software product, and I hesitate to use the word unhackable to anything made with human hands. I am sure Caleb is doing his best to make it hacker-resistant. So um, this just ma makes sure that we, we um, also share the message that – Everything that Simon Parker um, mentioned, it's all very exciting. None of the details have officially been announced yet. So leaving this one to the infinite possibilities that the universe has in store is absolutely the only way to go. Um, we will all have mm -hmm, we'll all have more information soon enough. Mm. Yeah, just got to remember as we go along, we've never done this before. We're writing the script as we go. 